Here I've integrated Windows Media Center and XPMC together so that uh, you can watch live TV with Windows Media Center and at the same time use XPMC's um, extremely elegant interface to serve your movies and TV show collection. So remote, it's a Harmony 610. Um, all I gotta do is, let's make it glow for a second, click the watch TV button, everything will turn on. Here you go. You have Windows Media Center. Now you got. I took away all the other strips, so now there's only extras, and I have XBMC integrated in there, as you can see. And then there's TV, your recorded TV collection, your guide, your live TV search, and then you have tasks. This I left in there just in case if something went wrong with the Microsoft Windows Media Center, I can sort of fix it. Let's check out live TV quickly. Now this is a fairly slow computer, it's only a single core, but it's able to run everything. So as you can see, Live TV works just fine. Let's stop that. And let's go on ahead. And Oh, the guide works too, as you can see. And I don't have anything else in the main menu, just the extras, TV settings, and the tasks. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start up XVMC. And there you go. Starts up. Just quickly going to scan for new content. Just takes a few seconds, not a big deal. There you go, done. And now you're in XVMC. I have some small scripts in here. There's a now playing script that I have here, now playing video. Um, sometimes when you're playing video and you end up to the main menu, you need a keyboard and a mouse to kind of go back to the playing video without having to stop and restart. Um, but with this little script, all you do is just click that button and it will go straight there. You need exit XPMC. When you click that, it <coughs> sorry, it boots you right out of XPMC and puts you back into Windows Media Center. So let's uh, go ahead and check out, actually let's check out the weather and everything works everything just works this is a slower computer it consumes about 40 watts of, uh, of power so it's only a single core so i have stripped out the rss feed ticker at the bottom and basically kind of dulled down the interface a little bit to make things work smoother so let's check out movies and you go into title and it takes a few seconds for it to load up the initial pictures and there you go like this is your entire XVMC library, well my library. Now if I wanted to play a movie, all I gotta do is just click it and watch the magic. Fast forward works perfectly. Like you see, all the buttons are now mapped to XVMC. They're no longer mapped to Windows Media Center. <coughs> Gives you a full richer experience altogether. Um, let's go ahead and stop that. Um, another thing that I managed to do is I also have the little pop-up menu show up for it. So let's uh, go ahead and pick another movie, something that would be more interesting. Well, Dinner for Schmucks is interesting too, but let's, uh, trying to find a decent movie here. Oh, they're all good, but... Oh, there you go. Let's pick on Green Lantern. <coughs> so, I have the context menu working using the remote. There you go. As you can see, my one hand's holding the phone, the other hand's holding the remote, so there's no way I could have done that in any other way. And I can go to movie information. Pops up there, and I can check out YouTube trailers. Right from the comfort of my own home, using nothing but just a regular remote in my hand. No fancy keyboard, nothing. And there you go. I have YouTube working for me as well. And I'll go ahead and stop this now. And just take you back to the 
main menu here and TV shows works the same way um, let me just quickly show you what now playing does so if I were to go actually just uh, play TV shows and let's say I'm gonna play Time Z. Just play all seasons. And play the first one. <coughs> now, if I were to press the back button, it would boot me back out with the preview at the bottom, all the way back to the main home screen, and I'll see the video playing in the background. Now, how do I go to back to this video? Normally I need a keyboard and a mouse and I click the video in the background to go back to it. But I could just use this little script I did, now playing video, press that, and voila, you go back to the video. Now, let's stop that again. If I want to exit, just remember, when I exit, it'll exit me out of XPMC and throw me back into Windows Media Center. And it does that perfectly. Here we go, I'm going to press the button, exit. Wait for it. And now I'm back in Windows Media Center. And now that I'm back in Windows Media Center, I can just go back to Live TV and enjoy the Live TV functionality that works so well in Windows Media Center. There you go. Oh, look, they're playing Robot Chicken. Anyway, and now I'm going to stop this. <laughs> and then everything's said and done, you have a perfect blend of a Microsoft product and an open source product working side by side together and actually providing for a better experience for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'm just going to turn this off and if you guys have any comments just feel free to leave them at the bottom. Let me know what you think. This is my actual first video so sorry if it was a little shoddy but uh, hopefully it uh, kind of sparks some interest from open source developers and stuff uh, for what XPMC is really capable of and what the community really needs when it comes to entertainment and Microsoft you really need to work on your media center <laughs> it is just not a very good product compared to what the open source has to offer so yeah leave some comments let me know what you think